it is with great joy that I welcome you today as we celebrate Demi and Brett and bear witness and bless this sacred moment in Demi and Brett's lives as they join together in Christian marriage. The covenant of marriage was established by God who created us for each other. Demi and Brett come to give themselves to one another in this holy covenant today. Well, he's very handsome. He has dreamy blue eyes. Um, but yeah, what's drawn me into Brett that I find most attractive is his heart. Um, he's much more serious than me, uh, which is kind of a curveball as to who I thought I was going to marry, um, but in the best way. So playful and sweet and kind um, and faith-based, he's led me. Um, I'm glad we haven't finished my makeup yet. <laughs> really special. I would say that I have met the most beautiful girl in the world starting from the inside and that she's more beautiful on the inside than on the outside and uh, she's really damn beautiful on the outside. So Brad, you're about 23 hours away. How you feeling? You okay? All right. But Brad, Mom and Dad love you so much. And we're very proud of you. You know, when I, when I think about Brad, there's probably been four things in his life that's really shaped him. One thing was uh, when Brad was a senior in high school, he had a very rare form of cancer. And with the grace of God and an incredible surgeon, he was healed. Yeah. And then uh, he founded with his co-founders who are out here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. New story, and I think everybody in this room knows the uh, effect they've had over thousands of lives over the last year. And then, Brett, there's probably one more thing that happened. <laughs> you found Demi. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Phil Skinner. I'm Demi's dad. Yeah. And yeah. There's a little story here. First off, I just got to say, you know, the term total package for somebody is, is kind of an overused work term, but for Demi, I mean, she really, she, she has everything. She's, I mean, anything that you would want in a daughter, you know, being beautiful, smart, um, charismatic, kind, you know, loves God and an awesome member of our family, super athletic. I don't know how many people know this, but Demi won a state championship in high school playing flag football. She was actually, she was actually a linebacker, so she's pretty badass. But um, I just love spending time with her, and she's just such a special person. So. Yeah, it was so instantaneous to be able to see like his heart and how he's changed, and so. <laughs> he's really the crybaby. <laughs> but yeah, I think what was so special my takeaway from reconnecting with him was just seeing his how God has changed his heart and whether or not we were going to be together I really wasn't thinking that way it's just like he's really special one night um, I randomly started thinking about Demi for a couple hours and actually thought that I might marry her out of nowhere which was very random and then the next morning I messaged her <clears throat> and uh, hoped that she was still in Atlanta and was still single. Instagram this time. Instagram. Yes. And, uh, and I asked her if she would want to hang out, if she's still in town, and she said yes. So that's how it's a story. Truly, Demi has always been one of the most captivating, stunning, loving, pure humans that I've ever met. And I don't know if I will ever meet anybody as beautiful as you are. And it's your heart, it's your soul, it's your spirit, it is who you are, is so pure. After just a short time spent with them, it was just so easy to see how well you guys complement each other. It was incredible. And even right in that moment, I kind of had a feeling one day we might be here in a setting like this. Throughout the course of my life with my brother, you know, there's people who was like, is it hard to be his brother? Like, no one says it to my face. <laughs> but it's like, I get your vibe. You're like, oh, are you, you know, is it tough? And it's the exact opposite. 
I will say that this man has made it easy uh, to go throughout the course of life. Why Demi? Gosh, it's um, the first thing that comes to mind is just a feeling of the deepest connection I've ever had with somebody, um, a feeling that this is just what God wanted. Uh, I think she compliments me in all the right ways. I think that um, she has the most beautiful soul that I've ever met, um, of how she cares for people, of uh, just who God made her to be. Um, and when I'm with her, I, I always want to be with her. So, and I've never felt that before. I've been waiting for this for quite some time. And honestly, y'all, I am filled up with so much joy to know that my best friend just married the woman of his dreams. Yeah. I've known him his whole life, or at least since we were 12, and it is so clear that he has married the woman of his dreams. And Demi, I'm so happy to know that you just married the best man I've ever known. So having committed yourselves to each other in openness, love, and permanency, and having sealed your vows by the giving and receiving of rings, I, before God and these amazing witnesses, <laughs> and with a perfect dress, now pronounce you husband and wife. Brett, you may kiss your beautiful bride. Woo! Right, everybody, stand to your feet. It is my joy to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Hatler. If you don't mind, um, I gotta use my phone a little bit just because it's like 2022, you know? I love my sister unconditionally and I'm so proud of her for making such a good decision to spend her, uh, the rest of her life with Brett. Brett is incredibly caring for his family, which as a matter of fact is a lot bigger now. I love Mr. and Mrs. Hagler now, unconditionally, and am infinitely grateful for what this marriage is gonna yield in the future. <laughs>